Hey guys, Phantom Token FTM, technical analysis in only three minutes using Ichimoku Cloud. Why Ichimoku? Because it can tell us what will happen in the future without using any crystal uh, crystal ball or any uh, bullshit like that. But uh, what we can see here now on our uh, daily is we are clearly above the Tenkan daily. So now our goal is to go toward our Kijun daily uh, before we get any resistance any uh, we have got a, a small resistance here you can see at 137 but then we go all the way up here before we have a clear clear resistance and maybe a pullback okay once we're gonna see that we tested this kijun daily and, and break above with one candle then okay we know we can uh, keep going toward this one this price here 150 154 and uh, and even higher through our uh, lagging so yeah one stop here, 154, and then 166. So at the moment, we're going to go bullish. We can see clearly we got this. Uh, we don't have any pullback, so it's going well. Let's go on a four hour time frame then to see a bit more. So, yeah, we can see clearly this new candle is above our uh, Kijun. So maybe we're going back to test it, uh, not to test it, but at least to sit on it. And then we can go. Uh, we can go even more uh, bullish, but we might not even go testing it. If we don't go testing it, we have a resistance here and it kind of already worked earlier because you see it's very close from here. But this is a resistance. So once you see we're going to get above this one, then you know we are going to head to the 144 US, do US dollar. So that's interesting. Um, in case, in case we're going back to the Kijun daily and finally uh, failed the break above to break above, then on that case we're going to go back as low as here, the SSB of our cloud. Especially since there is a twist here, we might go even lower than this. So I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if we go as low as 117 and even lower. We got this one here 112. So watch out if we're going close to the Kijun four hours. What you want to do is to go on a one hour time frame. Find our your find your key June four hours, which is here, and watch out the the next candle. If you see one that break under and another one that consolidate under the key June four hours, then you know we are going to go bearish. That's that's how you can clearly see where is uh, what's the direction and what's what's going on. Yeah, you see when we look at this, it looks like oh. This is the end. We're going to go uh, bearish already, but maybe not. We need to wait this candle to close. Uh, however, this one was very close to our uh, price resistance here, so it might have, have worked as a, as a resistance. But if we keep going on a bullish trend, then we are going to go back here and test it again huh? at least two more times before we break above and head to the Kijun daily. All right, guys, that's it for the moment. You guys take care and uh, leave a comment if you want. Let me know uh, if you are on a long or short position. And uh, yeah, let me know how many of it you got. That would be interesting to know what's your uh, wallet. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.